I'm Liv Kenya and my friends and I are traveling from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. You're using the garden route, using this car. This is our story. We're preparing to go to South Africa so we've done a couple of things first of all before we start with many many other things that we have done let's start with the gadgets I just received this package I've already opened initially I wanted to order from GoPro directly but it seems like GoPro do not deliver to Kenya so I got a friend who sorted me out now let's open this is my first time first time unboxing anything ever have I ever unboxed anything guys if you've never watched my video, I'm preparing to go to South Africa. So I'm just showing you how I prepared, what I got, and so that when you would like to have the same trip, you may also do the same if you're interested. So here we go. It comes with this casing. So I also bought the memory card. And I think it is the first, the first memory card. Here's the subscription. This subscription once you buy this you get a lot of benefits you get cloud space for storage so after you've after you've recorded if you are somewhere where there is internet gopro will just upload the footage on the cloud and also it ensures that whenever you're buying anything from gopro you get a very good discount 20 to 30 percent discount so here's the gopro very new ooh, 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 ooh. It is just the same size as Hero 9. Now the beauty of, of, of having the GoPro is that you can always record without creating a lot of fuss or, or, or making many people to look at. You know at times some people when you, you are recording something and they see a camera they freak out. Maybe you are not even recording them because it's good to always see consent. So this one will ensure that you record without anyone disturbing you. I've always recorded with a GoPro. It was my first camera. Eight was my first camera. And so many, eh, almost three years later, I'm still using GoPro. So it has never disappointed me. So guys, drum rolls. It comes with a lot of accessories. Most of them, they used to just stick them to hold the GoPro somewhere on the car or anywhere. I could have bought these things locally, but I realized that the price as compared to what is online is almost double. Two batteries and the, the dual charger plus an extra cable. So it's good if you can get someone who can send you, buy this from the GoPro website and and send it to you, you will be, you'll be, you'll have saved a lot of money. Oh, here is the sound mode. Yes, this is the boss. It's called media mode to ensure that I have some good audio. And then there is the Volta. This is the reason why many people are buying GoPro 12 because the when, if you buy the GoPro 12, it comes as a package with the Volta. This is the Volta. I decided to buy each of them separately. So this Volta acts as a tripod. You see? You can also fix uh, the camera on top. This is how it looks once you have fixed it. And it also acts as a charger. So it is a tripod, a charger, and also a remote. The difference between GoPro 10 and and 12 is quite some good money. Almost 30,000 Kenyan shillings. Yet the, the specifications are the same. It's just like, this situation is like the iPhone situation. They just tweak one specification. They tweak one specification and then they add 10,000 more. This one is the sanction cup. We'll be putting it somewhere on the on the dashboard. Uh, you'll see it once I have opened it. And then this one is called the handler. 
so this is something very interesting when when we'll be recording somewhere near water or even in water uh, it will ensure that the gopro does not sink let me just say sink because this part will always float so you can always get it wherever it will be this one i think i'm done unboxing what else have i what have i left yeah these ones you'll just see them when i'll be using additional to this we have all the documents we have the yellow fever certificate that it's called yellow fever card that we've been using through and through in all the borders we have of course our our ids we have the passports guys we have the passports the three of us have the passports even the the other group the other three people who are joining us also have their passports we have the international driver's license guess what adia has an international driver's license i hope she did not throw that money so we got the international driver's license from aa you, you know the aa that usually trains people to drive the driving school yes just go there we, we went to sarit center I, i'm told there are so many around nairobi we went to sarit, sarit center third floor and we paid nine thousand each for the international driver's license so if you have a valid uh, Kenyan driving license you just go there with your ID your val your valid passport and the valid driver's license and then you pay 9000 shillings you fill another form uh, there's another form that you fill and then you'll be given uh, the international driver's license it's something that is just done within maybe an hour or two even 30 minutes depending on how busy the day is because we got there at around 4 and by five we had our international driver's license so we are ready to cruise we are driving all the way to south africa i'm excited i'm excited but i think it has not hit me well enough until when we get to start the journey okay we've also done a, a couple of services on the car we did some body works here and there we got some scratch somewhere in nairobi <laughs> nairobi drivers you're showing me fire so we did some couple of repairs on the mud guard the body and we also did a thorough service of the car. Now what is left is for us to get an extra tire. We decided that we are not getting that. We are not using the extra tire. You know the, the the tiny tire we usually call donut. We are not carrying that one. We are carrying a proper tire, so that just in case one of the tires has a problem, we'll have a tire. Because we realize that buying a tire in a foreign country is a bit expensive, and you cannot be sure of the quality. So we are carrying an extra tire. We've already gotten our tents from Decathlon. Oh my God imagine on the on that particular day that we bought the tents and the inflatable mattress we pitched a tent on this sitting room we got inside for like i don't know two three hours to just feel how it would feel when we are out there and i can tell you guys the inflatable mattress is very comfortable actually more comfortable than many mattresses we've slept in on our road trips on this airbnb so airbnb owners step up on matters mattress step up a bit make it very comfortable because at times travelers just need just somewhere to lay their head and it has to be comfortable if it's not comfortable you wake up in the morning feeling like you're even very tired more tired than you were the previous night <laughs> it cost us an arm and a leg but i believe it's of good quality <laughs> We bought uh, the tents for two people, two people, two people each, and then you have this camping table, the inflatable mattresses for two of them for the two tents. So it, in each tent, we expect that only two people will occupy. Then you have extra pegs, extra pegs here, and then there is this pump for inflating the mattress. It's around fifty-one thousand Kenyan shillings. 
but we are thinking that we'll be camping more even in future so we needed to get quality stuff so anyway This series is going to be worth it. We are going to ensure that by the time we are done, each one of you can wake up one day and just go to South Africa without any problem. So more details, a lot of adventure, cool people, good vibes. Stay tuned and hit that like button. Comment below and tell me what you think of the video so far. And Or you can even comment at the end of the video. It's upon you. So let's continue the preparations so guys i'm training on how to fly a drone because i intend to have one on my way to south africa my instructor is down there we're somewhere in limuru this is how I turn it off the really long press so guys i'm training on how to fly a Right stick to the right, left stick to the left. End of practice for the day. And I have control. <laughs> <laughs> We've been practicing. There are so many buttons. Look at all these. So. We are finally going to South Africa, guys, and my, myself and the crew, we are six of us, we have two cars. Now, these are the same, same people I went with around Lake Victoria, apart from Vincent, he's our new member. Vincent, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, this is Adia, Jen. Okay, you know Adia. Jen and I. Okay, Victor. this is Victor. <laughs> welcome. <Finally. laughs> so, welcome back to the channel, guys. <laughs> uh, today is very confident because he's wearing some stuff. <laughs> so, guys, we are heading towards. This is a road trip from Kenya to South Africa and back by road. So, each car has at least two main drivers and they are. Two other drivers who are still uh, <laughs> who are still 50-50. Now Adia said this time that she, she was going to drive. Let's see how that will go. Are you still sure you're going to drive? Yes, I'm going to drive. Especially in Namibia. <laughs> well, there Watch is me. nothing. <laughs> in the desert. Through the deserts. <laughs> it's around 6. It's actually 6 p.m. We've been traveling since 6.30 in the morning. Now, this is what happened. We recorded all the way to Arusha. Right now we are in Arusha. We recorded all the way to Arusha. And then the, mem the memory card just lost all the footages. Imagine, it's been devastating. We, we are just, people are discouraged, but I told them we have to start it again. And here we are. So anyways, you did not miss much because we, we had a lot of highlights. We left at around 6.30 in the morning and we've been driving the entire day. We used the Namanga border. We got to Namanga border at around 10, but before we go to Namanga border, we had a lot of highlights. And my favorite is Oldonyo Orok. Hey, that never dear. It's called Oldonyo Orok. Yeah. It is a range of mountains. Are they mountains or hills? I, I, I guess mountains, they're a bit yes. high. Yes, there are a range of mountains and they are so beautiful. They are right at the border between Kenya and Tanzania. You'll see it from a distance on the Kenyan side and then you'll go all the way to the Tanzanian side. I tend to believe that the bigger side is in Kenya. Debatable. But I think uh, it also has a different name in, in Tanzania. There is Oldonyo Lengai uh -huh. in Tanzania, Oldonyo Orog on the Kenyan side. All of them oh. are just mountain ranges. So, so they, are, they are just They're together. Just spread, yes. If you've never been to Namanga border, you better come. Just come close to the Namanga border because it is very scenic. Right at the border, there is the Oldonyo Orok, 
and then as you look right ahead of you you will see Longido. Longido mountain. Hey. Yes, the Longido mountain. By the way guys, in, the Ke Kenyans always say that the most photographed mountain is Le, uh, Mount Ololokwe. Yeah. But you need to think of Longido mountain as also one of those beautiful mountains. So magical. So magical. You did not miss a lot. So the highlights, we are just giving you guys the highlights. We stayed at the border for like one and a half hours. The entire process was very smooth. You don't need an agent, by the way, uh, but you need to have a yellow fever certificate, yellow fever card, vaccine card. Uh, you don't need a, a COVID-19 vaccine card or a vaccine certificate at all because that was not asked. Uh, you'll also need your passport, and then you'll go. You first of all go to the health, the port health side. They'll finish. With, uh, it will be processed very fast, and then you go to the immigration Kenyan side. Then immigration. Tanzanian side and then you go to the custom side if you have the car and the documents the usual documents guys if you're crossing in any East African country you need your logbook by the way guys we did not carry a canet de passage because the conditions for getting the canet are a bit stringent too expensive yes the the surety you need to to give like almost the same uh, value for your car you give it as a surety either to the bank or to the to is called a eh, eh. eh, eh, yes uh, also uh, we realized that if one 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 car has the the canet de passage and the other car does not have it won't even make sense because we still have to wait for each other so as much as we'd like to cut on the cost cut on the uh, save on the time if one one car has and the other one does not have it won't make sense so we just carried our original logbook and a few copies of the logbook our passport, the yellow fever vaccine, uh, vaccine card. Using the temporary one, of course you cannot be going on this trip with a temporary one, but yeah. in case you're coming to Tanzania with a temporary one, you, you need, need your, your ID. ID. Yes. Another key thing, uh -huh. be ready to offload all your luggage if using... Yes, when you're at the Namanga border, be sure that your luggage will be scanned. Just come knowing that. Imagine we had packed our stuff. Hey, it, it, packing, packing these two cars, takes a, it took us in the morning almost two hours right yes almost two hours and the hey, the ladies will always be the ladies we carried <laughs> so many stuff imagine i have almost four bags we were told that we need to carry only one bag but who are we yeah lazima look who eh? we have to look good yes bags for shoes bags <laughs> bags for everything we have beddings you know we also are carrying camping gear so forgive us our cars are so full we did the shopping in Kenya, that was a mistake. We should have done the shopping in each country we go to because right now we have too much shopping. We have nowhere to put them. It, it is squeezing us in the cars, so it's not very comfortable. We were parking as if we were out. We are overlanders yet, we have small cars. But, <laughs> but then think about it, 35 days is a long time. You would not want to run out of clothes. And yeah. the weather is a bit unpredictable. Who, you wants, want to, who to... wants to do laundry I on know. the road trip? No, it's we are impossible. not doing our laundry, so we carried enough clothes. After after we crossed the border, uh, we we saw the the Mount Longido. Oh my God! That I've said that like, this is the second time. It's amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. mountain. You need to see it. If you manage to cross the border, just go slightly, like a few kilometers ahead, you'll see that mountain. And that entire stretch is Maasai land all the way to Arusha. So you'll come across a lot of Maasai people just walking by the road. Some of them, uh, they are uh, looking after their cattle and all that. So be careful on the road because they, they cross the road here and there. Just be careful, that is all. And if you love Maasai people, this is quite a trip that you should take. Yeah. Yes, they're usually <laughs> always... <laughs> there is one of them. Even the one who's riding the, the, the bicycle is a Maasai guy. Okay, as we were driving, remember guys, we barely slept. We barely slept. Actually, I did not sleep even, I did not even wink my eyes. Adia? I did not sleep either. Yes, yeah, so we did not sleep the entire night. We were just busy parking. Okay, we were just dozing off in the car apart from Patrick who was driving. And then we, when I woke up, I saw a lot of dust on the road. It, it actually, you could not even see ahead. It was very dusty and then all of a sudden there is rain. It was so weird. I've never seen such a thing until we, I walk everyone else and everyone else and they were like 
if this is just witchcraft this cannot happen you know the layman yeah. <laughs> if you cannot explain something you just think it's witchcraft then when, when we went a few like kilometers ahead we saw this beautiful gorge and it, it had a lot of erosion and Jen kept saying that this this erosion <laughs> looks like the human skull. Yeah, uh, it actually looks like when you see it, you will not and see. It's called uh, old kids, kids, uh, kids, old, old, old kids. <laughs> old, 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 old. Okay, I can't remember that name because we were told by so we, we came across some Maasai guys there. They told us the name of that place, and they told us that it is uh, the place looks like that because. Usually during the rainy season, uh, the area around uh, Mount Meru, it usually rains heavily and then the water comes flooding through the loose sand, the, the, loose, uh, the loose soil that is around that area. So because of continuous erosion, it, it, uh, it, it created that uh, river and the gorge. And at times it gets so flooded at, to a point that even people cannot cross over. So that is why there is that bridge. But it is a, if you find it with no water, it is a very scenic and beautiful place. And I had so many photos and texts of that place. It was raining, it was dusty, it was very dark. But who am I? I have to take photos and nice videos for you guys. So let me give uh, you the name a minute. Mm -hmm. Olkej Olkej Ngerit. Olkej Ngerit. I let hope me I'm see. saying it nicely. Olkej Olkej Ngerit. Ngerit. Yes, Olkej. something of that sort. You will come across similar names it looks along like this road. It's a canyon. Road. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it looks like a canyon actually. You thought you in California. <laughs> you thought that you were in California? <laughs> yes. In some canyon? Yeah. <laughs> it was a very, very beautiful place. I, I think that is the highlight yes. for me. It was, I've seen something that I've never seen before. So the highlight of the day is that old cage. Gerrit. Gerrit thing, place. So we came all the way to Arusha and had a very, very nice meal. And that is when we realized that we had lost our all the footage. All the footage. It was so devastating, but we've just been we've just been giving ourselves a lot of psych. Eh? We just says we have to tell you guys everything that we've seen. And thank goodness we had recorded some footages using our phone for social media. So you know those ones are usually in portrait uh, portrait form, not the landscape form. That is why the videos look the way they look. Otherwise. We are glad that we are here right now and we just parked somewhere next to the main road. There is the main road. Yeah, we parked somewhere next to the main road so that we can brief you guys. So let's continue with our journey. We are heading towards our accommodation in Lake Manyara. In Lake Manyara and we are going to do camping. So let's go. We are going to do a lot of camping on this trip. So be prepared. As we were making our plans and leaving Nairobi, our target was to get to Dodoma so that we can sleep there. That is how our schedule was. But right now it's very late. We've wasted a lot of time and we were missing a part in drone in the drone in the morning, also at the border one and a half hours, even though we expected that it would be okay, more or less the same. Yeah. But the loss of the footage I think is the one that really disoriented us. So these are the countries where we'll be going, guys. Kenya, Tanzania, uh, Zambia, and then we'll go to Botswana, South Africa, Lesotho. Lesotho is somewhere here. And then we'll return with Zambia, back to, Namibia. sorry, we'll, we'll return through Namibia and then to Zambia and then uh, we'll go all the way to Malawi before we return to Tanzania and then Kenya. So, wherever you are, if you come across these two cars, just say hi and share Live Kenya's videos to everyone and anyone. Sam, 
Because I buy this. What? This is a really huge. We are huh? pitching our tents. Huh? You can see this one. Two people here. This one is already. This one is ready. <laughs> yes. This is how big the mattress is for two people. And then, you come and see this one. There goes our bed for the night. Yes. And I think it's ready. Ah, it's ready. So you done? How's the experience? After work, work. <laughs> but it's nice. Actually, I, I had some fatigue. Even Kono Yuko in a new mask. And some pressure yeah. has been released. Yeah, yeah, I felt like the pressure that was here has been released. Actually, I feel better. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, I asked for some groceries from the host and we are going to cook. It is really nice having the authentic camping experience. experience. This is insane. You wish you had arrived early? Yes, yeah, so that I can see the whole environment. But. <sighs> they one of everything pitching my own tent like pitching my own tent this ones have covered up to prevent mosquitoes from getting in and then this one just in case it's, it rains or it gets colder you just cover it like this but and what are the chances you're going to get trained on tonight? We are no, no, we, we, we are actually shed. Yeah, we're pitching under this tent, under, under this shed. So, so welcome to my tent. Mm -hmm. It's been an exciting day. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is my is going to be my first day to use a tent, mm -hmm. and I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think it would be it would look like I, a proper I bed. I couldn't think it could be look like this smart. Mm -hmm. I was expecting maybe it would be something. Uh, like the sheds we used to build as children. <laughs> <laughs> to my surprise, uh -huh. this actually looks more than a bed. Yeah, you look. Can, you can film it. Yes. You see, yes. we even have a very nice pillow here. No wonder your be No wonder, no wonder your car is full. full. So imagine, uh -huh. people say that guys don't like white things. Happen your opinion. Someone Ish. gave me this. Aww. 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 You can imagine I'll be using this as a my unicorn. pillow. They look like military bags. These bags have made yeah. us. They have made us uh, be respected everywhere. People think we are in the military, and we are like, yes, we are in the military. So we so that we can get favors. Look at these bags. We are cooking. So uh, we realized that carrying a gas. A gas cooker, or even this gas and the burner, to other countries is is a bit risky. Problems with the police. Yeah, we'll have a lot of problems with the police. So we, we decided that we'll carry a uh, jikoko. So luckily, when we got here, luckily when we got to this camp, we were offered a gas cooker. And why not? Here we are cooking. Some rice is ready there. Now we're just cooking some eggs, we have our dinner and sleep before we prepare for tomorrow. We're ready as we are eat as we are cooking we're also making arrangements for our program tomorrow. We have a schedule but it's not fixed. Uh, at times we have to vote. Uh, everyone's opinion counts, you know. As long as we work with the the budget and within the timelines. Then is the magician here cooking the eggs. <laughs> oh by the way we got some very delicious banana cakes i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll give you the link of whoever made the cakes for us the plug yes the plug since i tested her banana cake. Her, it was the lemon cake and then the banana cake i was hooked we even carried two Huge cakes for this trip. I'll give you the plug. Very nice, very nice. Thank you.
One number. Uh, good morning from Wild Palm Camping Park in Manyara. So we are getting ready to leave for Todoma. And I think the facilities uh, here are um, good. Uh, for me, Nimependa, they are, they are, they are, they are washroom. the washrooms are good, the water is warm. Uh -huh. Also, I can say that we are privileged to get this shade under the shade. Yes, we so got this people, shade here. People are worried about being rained on, but this place is pretty good. Yes. So whenever you are passing by Manyara or the T5 highway, yes. check, make sure you check out the... Yes, this place is really good. By the way, they provide gas for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, they provide gas. We, we slept under this shed. Yeah, you saw it at night. Morning, Vincent. Morning to you. How was your camping it experience? Was so, it was so exciting. Uh -huh. It was my first time to sleep in a tent. Uh -huh. I think I like it. Uh -huh. And I hope to do it once again. Yes. In the Yesterday you were saying it felt like an Airbnb. Well, we had the opportunity to cook for ourselves. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's really brilliant. Yes. I like it. I... How, how was the inflatable mattress? Well, I can't tell whether there is a difference between it and a real bed. Cindy, I look forward to actually using it every other day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nasa kukuona, kukuona, you'll buy one for your house. <laughs> By the way, Sindio, even kids can play around. Mm -hmm. We are rearranging our shopping so that we can have uh, everything easy. Yeah, we're trying to create more space, so we're trying to put similar things together. Yeah, so access, yes. But hey, man, welcome to White Palm. Camping site, it's nice, the people are good, uh -huh. the place is so conducive. Yes, we really enjoy it. This is not my first time camping, but this was another amazing experience. It was on another level. So, guys, you, fe you felt like it was a bushy camping experience. Yeah, so the other one we camped around the lake, another one we camped in the forest. So, uh -huh. this is the first time I'm camping in a sandy area. So uh -huh. The experience is nice. Hi, Adia. Adia said that she's in her Kienyeji mode. I'm in Kienyeji mode. She will talk to you. She will address the nation shortly. <laughs> this is a banana cake. So there is a lady somewhere. Sitting on talent. Yes, there's a lady somewhere sitting on talent. And I hope to get her Instagram handle very soon because... It's one of the best banana cakes I've taken. And I've taken many so we can imagine it is among the yes so here are our luggage let me take you guys to the let me show you around so around here you'll be surrounded by nature look at this it's just in the morning we could hear some birds chirping the environment is very quiet it's quite warm actually we most of us hardly covered ourselves here here is another shed i'm, I'm thinking someone else can pitch a tent here as well that one is ours, it's still in a mess, but we are working on it. And there are the washrooms and the bathrooms. They are very, very clean. Let me show you. So around here, they, we use solar. You can see that is why it was difficult to get a place to charge, but it could light the place up. So the bathrooms are on the other side. And this side, we have the toilets. The water is very warm. Let me just show you how clean this place is. Yes, here's the toilet. It's very, very clean. Then you can brush your teeth here. There's a mirror as a bonus. So these are the bathrooms. Yeah, it's a very, very neat place, very decent place. And there is hot water. So they pump water from the bowl and warm it. There is the tank. You can watch a lot of birds here. Have so many birds. I like the sound of nature. Just listen. Birds chirping. So guys, this place uh, cost us around 650 shillings per head. That is in Kenyan shillings. Uh, in converted into Tanzanian shillings was around 10,000 Tanzanian shillings per head. Uh, on the website, it was 15,000 Tanzanian shillings per head. But when you got here, we could be able to negotiate to 10,000 uh, 10, Tanzanian shillings per head because we are six of us. 
there is power in numbers you can easily negotiate basically we're trying to save up for activities and even to save up but we are hoping to take our money back home so i hope that makes a lot of sense meanwhile mouthy for the day we could not iron but i tried to find always pack something that does not require some ironing just in case you get to a place where you cannot access uh, electricity what do you guys think camping is not such a bad idea we had so much fun i would tell you having camped this is the first time after almost three years and and the one i did in three years was three years ago was my first time camping so i think i like camping as long as you have the right camping gear ours just feels like a bougie airbnb <laughs> <laughs> but it feels really good. So guys, let's give you a perspective of how this place looks from up. Let me see if I can fly the drone. Um, you, okay, I, I trained for two weeks, so I, do, I have a lot of practice to do, so forgive us, sister. <laughs> So guys, we are somewhere by the road. We are still uh, just a few a few meters from a few meters from our camp our camping site, the one we stayed yesterday night. Now you see those hills up there. Let me show you clearly. You see those hills up there? There's the Lake Manara is somewhere right below it. Now we could go that far, but we've been told it's so many kilometers in, or up to. Up to around 80 kilometers in and we do not have the the time but it is somewhere below those hills so we are at this petrol station we just came to uh, to buy some airtime and also inquire about uh, Lake Manyara so it's it's down there below those hills the ones you can see that far but uh, it's I, I would think it's it would be a good idea to go there but we do not have the time we're already behind our schedule so if you'd like to come and check out the lake it is just right below there but we're thinking we should make another trip to arusha mm -hmm. we, we will especially the manyara yes. region not yes the manyara region has, has a lot, a lot. Huh? The Manyara region is very rich, it has a lot. We have Marangu Falls too in Moshi to come and visit soon, yes. Kikureto Hot Springs. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to be back. We'll be back to explore Arusha. Yes. Mm -hmm. But for now, let's go. Let's continue with our journey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Tarangira National Park is on this direction from the signage. Like we said, uh, Arusha has so many national parks. So don't, don't call it Arusha, this is the Manyara region. Sorry, Marasha. <laughs> <laughs> Manyara plus Arusha becomes Marasha. <laughs> okay, Manyara has so many, so many things to see. Eh? So many touristic sites. Arusha, Manyara, all those regions. They say they, Tarangira is the elephant's paradise. Ah. So if you want to see a lot of elephants, you come to Tarang Tarangira. Your place, yes. But now, I, I, I still think uh, Sabo, our Sabo has it. Probably we should just come here. We yeah. Confirm. And please guys, when you're using these roads, be kind to the animals, be kind to children, be kind to your fellow road users. People keep, keep hitting dogs on this road. I don't know what happens. Even last time when we were using, uh, it was not this road, but there's a, another road, the Babati road. We came across so many dogs that had been hit down by motorists, surely. Care for your animals. Be kind to animals and people and all other road users. It does not cost a thing. The six weeks journey from Kenya to South Africa has just begun. We'll be passing through nine Southern African countries and there'll be a lot of first time experiences that will blow your mind. So kindly stay tuned for more episodes that are coming in the next couple of weeks. And please like the video and also share it with your friends and family. If you're joining me for the first time, welcome aboard and please consider subscribing to the channel because there'll be more awesome content coming through until the next video bye